So I'm going to show you how to uh, use Secure Shell to connect to a Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to show why you shouldn't use a thing called Telnet, which is an old method of connecting across the network to any computer. Because um, Telnet is not encrypted, so actually if you look at what's happening on the network, you can actually see the usernames and passwords going across. Uh, and I'll demonstrate that right now. So in the right hand window, what I'll do is I'll use this command TCP dump. I'm going to listen on my Ethernet uh, card ETH0 and anything coming from or going to the, the Raspberry Pi. And in the left hand window what I'll do is I'll tell net to my Raspberry Pi. So the login prompt comes up. And you can see what's happening on the right hand window. You can see the stuff which is going to the Raspberry Pi and coming back from the Raspberry Pi is just getting displayed as normal text. So now if I type the first character P, you can see the P there come up, and the next character I, and so you see the, the username coming up. And I've, I, what I've done is I've just used a um, password which is password just as a demonstration. So now I start typing the password, and there's the P. A. S. S again. W. O. R. Oops, time out. I'll quickly type that again. So it shows shows you uh, all the text which is coming up, going and coming back unencrypted. So if anyone's uh, looking at the network while I'm logging in, they can capture my username and password and also anything that I do after that. So if I do a list of the directory, you can see it coming up on the network there. So definitely do not use Telnet to connect to a computer. And even if you're on your home network, it's still not worth the risk um, because you may think that your Wi-Fi is secured, but you never really know. Um, so instead, what you should use is a secure shell. So if I secure shell to my Raspberry Pi, so now I've secured shelled, and on this side here, we can see the data going backwards and forwards. It's all encrypted, so you, there's nothing you can read there. So I've typed in uh, well, the parts already sent the password, uh, the username. So now I've typed in the password and hit enter, and it's all just a mass of funny characters. And now I do a directory listed in as well. And nothing that comes back looks like anything on the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi that I've talked to. So if you're going to connect to a computer, always use Secure Shell. Never use a thing called Telnet if you ever come across that. Uh, and this is also a handy uh, utility to know about because um, if you ever worry about the security on your network you can use a thing called TCP dump to look at what, what information is going across your network and see if you can see if uh, other people are connected to your network when they shouldn't be as well.